Her name means who loves the silence. Okay? She's the goddess of the Valley of the Kings. She's the one like protecting the Valley of the Kings. And the image is the cobra. Her name is Merit Sigurd. <laughs> Okay, by the way, right now, you find, as we mentioned, this is the reason why they select the Valley of the Kings, because it's a narrow, small place, it's covered by the mountain, that's why, you know, it's well-protected area, very high quality of limestone. The top of the mountain itself, it's shaped, it has the pyramid shape, it has the pyramid shape, so, uh, but as we mentioned, if you look from down, you will see how is the idea. You know, some of the tombs, it's cut on the level of the ground. Some of it, it's cut into the rocks. Some of it is already cut, you know, through the mountain itself. And depends on the, so how we use it is, for sure it depends on how important the Pharaoh was. As he's very important, staying in power long time, it gives like a good, Sometimes you see they change the way. Why? Because sometimes they find the quality of the stone is not very good. They switch up the way. Sometimes they hit another tomb. That's why they switch the way. Okay? That's why, you know, it depends on like this house. The reason uh, you see over here, uh, like as we mentioned yesterday, we are in the valley of the water workers but the, every workers they have them own you know work so pacific work they do a uh, special job that's why you see over here like as you said they work in groups and every group has you know his, his own job that's why some people at the beginning they start to cut into the rocks you know then some others is them job is to remove you know, the stones and the sand out of the carving. Then comes the some other artists, the job is to put the outlines. Then comes like some others start to carve the details. Then finally becomes the other group for put the colors. Okay? Uh, over here, but anyway, you just have a quick look. Just over here, a video of the discovery of the tomb of King Tutankhamun during the get his stuff out during 1922 by the way it took them 10 years moving the stuff from the valley of the kings here to the so egyptian museum or the
uh, so let's go. Uh, the tomb here uh, to your right hand side, uh, Ramses the fourth, but it's closed nowadays for the restoration and more excavation. But you know, it's Ramses uh, number four. Ways. Ah, no, 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 okay. it's not original for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like those, those walls to your right and left hand side, yeah, it's not Kinda original. Kind of defeat Even the purpose. Like the entrance of the tomb itself is not that, it's not original. Um, I just want to try the shade because uh, I used to stay next to uh, Ramses Force because it's a close, but you know, uh, yeah. So we will try like one of the to uh, stop in to start to uh, show you the most important scenes that you will see in the tombs. Then we will start our visit. It was a bit hardly fine shade. Mountain, the, shape is a pyramid shape. the goddess here, her name Merit Sigur, even that a translation in hieroglyphics, who loved the silence. I think she's not happy now, which is everybody here, and a lot of noisy. But you know, because she's already who loves silence, because you remember we said everything here done secret, you know, it was a secret thing, it was like a, a great job, holy thing, you know, that's why. They choose the goddess Merit Sigur, the cop, so the snake cobra, to be the main god of this part over here. Because anyway, there is more than cobra. Because the most like famous cobra, Wajet. Wajet, she's the one in like right in front of the, you know, so front head of the pharaohs. You know, she's goddess of Lower Egypt, the north. But here, Merit Sigur, that will be woman body with the head of the cobra. Okay, that would be Merit Sigur, who, so her name means who love the silence. Okay. <laughs> so right now we are gonna watch uh, like scenes for the most important scenes that you will see in the Valley of the Kings. While here at the beginning you started by, so an image of goddess, her name Nut, N-U-T, goddess of the sky and the heavens. See how she's already stretching her body around the universe. That's why some people said, okay, we use a boat in the underworld, but also they believe the blue sky seems a resurrection of the Nile. That's why they believe there is a cosmic river in the heavens as well. That's why, you know, what they believe when the sun happened, the sun set, the sun, it starts to go through a journey through the body of the goddess Nut, you see? This kind of red dots, this is the sun. It start to move through the body of the goddess Nut herself. While she seemed eating, the sun desk go through that journey, through her body, the cosmic river, unless she delivered it as a baby or as scarab beetle in the early morning, unless the scarab push the sun desk to sunrise because by the way i know in a movie which called the mummy scarab scary worry but it's not 
this is not true because the scarab symbol of good luck, happiness, resurrection. Why? Ancient Egyptian define a scarab come from dark to the light, from underworld back to life. Symbol of resurrection. Also, scarab beetle kill, clean the area which they leave in it. Anything collected makes looks like a bull. Ancient Egyptian define the bull lock symbol of the sun, and he looks to push the sun death to sunrise. Sunrise, new day, symbol. It's a good luck, happiness. This is the significance of the scarab beetle. Okay. As we mentioned, we explained the cartouche so many times. Anybody needs the explanations again for the sign cartouche? Okay. And this, anyway, the cartouche of Ramses number six. While you see a beautiful colors, you know, the blue color, you know, for that's represented also goddess Nut and the stars, which is similar like a starfish, represent goddess Nut, the goddess of the sky. That's why this is an, on the ceiling, you know, to present the ceiling of the tomb is the, is the heavens and the ground is the earth that represented the universe, okay? And the colors, already the colors, it's a natural color. So again, as we said, you get a real stone, grind it, get the bottle off it, use it for the colors. That's why those colors doesn't go ever, it's the color of the stone itself. Like as we said, blue color, turquoise stone. Dark blue will be lapis lazuli, green color, malachite, reddish color, coral, or copper oxidized, black color, cherry, cold white color, lime stone. Mummification process. Mummification process, that's one of the master scenes in the valley of the King Sun Luxor. Okay. How the ancient Egyptian made the mummification? Uh, okay, first step, taking the brain off. How do you take the brain off, guys? Not through the nose. Looks like a hawk. Push it in, grumble, get the brain out through the nose. Okay? The person dead is not gonna feel anything. <laughs> so, so, just a quick question. So, they gr grind it up the brain inside it? Yes, it yes, it yes. Okay. Rest of, and sense. sometimes, the rest of the brain, they make a little hole at the backside, they take the rest of the brain out. Guys, they keep the brain? No, they never keep the brain. Ancient Egyptian, they never believe you think from your brain. Thinking, decisions, feeling out of your heart. That's why they never, you know, keep the brain. Second step, taking the internal organs off. How do they do this? They open the left side, take the internal organs off. They store the organs inside, four separate jaws. We call them canopic jaws. But when they take the organs off, take all of the organs off, no heart. Kidneys, they kept them inside the body. So heart, why heart? Symbol of life. How you can resurrection that symbol of life? Heart, muscle, easy to preserve, mix it dry like rest of the body. Heart, very important for the final judgment. That's why I cannot take the heart out of the body, you know, because that's like the permission for the afterlife. Even as we said, feeling decisions, you know, out of the heart. That's why heart is very important. Kidneys, why do you keep the kidneys? Ancient Egyptian, they believe everything made out of water. You know, and this is even how the universe started by the internal water. That's why already that kidneys assemble water. That's why, you know, you cannot take even the kidneys out. They kept it inside, dry them and keep them inside. Rest of the organs take it off. Lungs, liver, stomach, intestines. And there's the four organs. They store it in the four separate jobs. Okay. They love to keep the shape of the body. How they keep the shape of the body? They stuff linen with resin inside the body to keep the shape of the body. After that, they put the mummy under sun rays to hydrate the body from all of the liquids. Sometimes up to 40 days, 4 zero. So imagine, for, so 40 days, servants sitting around and pushing the flies away from the mummy. 40 days, that to hydrate the body from all of the liquids. But let's see, when they already take, you know, you imagine mommy under sun rays 40 days, smells will be bad. I think, you know, so sun will burn the skin. How they fix up that by the essential oils. Like we got real flowers, smooth, so squeeze it to get oil out of those flowers. But we know that by essential oils, you know, that's why you used to put it over the skin to preserve the skin from the sun and also inject some sorry, the body with some of those oils to keep the body flexible and flowers it smells very good change the smells after that use some herbs and henna which is mostly change the color of the hair 
after that, they use, they, uh, they used to put the mummy in a natural salt, like a very special kind of salt, or a natural salt. They, like same one the way how preserve the fishes and the meat nowadays. After that, they wash the mummy nicely, close the whole holes with linen sheets, wrap the whole mummy with lots of sheets of linen, a lot of bandage. Pharaohs and nobles cover the fingers and the toes by sheets of gold. Why? They worry from bad spirits. And they believe bad spirits go through the body, through the fingers and the toes. That's why that seems like a shield against the bad spirits. By the way, you're going to see those covering in the Egyptian museum. Okay? Uh, highest quality of mummification, as we mentioned, seven days. That's why you see the scenes here. Who's the first one being mummified? Osiris. Why? After he's been assassinated by his brother. And we will explain that story in details. But you know, that's why here you find so the so the mummification dead, then the dead body of the pharaoh, and who's making the mummification surgery? The human body is head of jackal, Anubis got a mummification, and you see the four separate jaws underneath that for to contain the internal organs. Here Isis, goddess Isis wife of Osiris and mother of Horus and her sister Nephthys as they did the first mummification process for the body of Osiris they do the same thing and here is Anubis you know final judgment day uh, I know there's uh, just maybe four people we went to uh, the temple there we've seen the final judgment day but uh, the final judgment by the way this already you know one of the scenes or one of the master scenes in the Valley of the Kings was it, which is already one of the chapters of the Book of the Dead. Okay, the final judgment. We're already like we have, uh, you know, everybody will improve like I'm a good person. I think nobody will say I'm a bad person. But everybody improve I'm a good person. That's why how they can trust that they start to put the heart. So you start to see here Anubis the god Anubis is leading the dead body to the skills to waiting the heart by the truth of justice of goddess her name might m-a-a-t goddess of justice why did they put the heart versus the feather or the symbol of justice you know the feather of goddess might goddess of truth and justice to see if he's already like was live and spend his life by the rules of uh, goddess might i mean truth and justice that's why you know if the heart heavier than the feather that means he's a bad person okay that's why that animal his name is amam okay is gonna eat the heart and if he eats a heart we said this is the symbol of the after you know the resurrection that's why anyway no way for you to be in the afterlife if the heart is lighter than the feather it means he's a good person then one of the people said hold on anyway the heart will be heavier than the feather okay that's a symbolic guys i mean we still sometimes use that expression so uh, when you met a good person who say okay he's a light heart person so i didn't wait his heart but the idea is sign he's a good person then he met a bad person he say he's a heavy heart person so you know or someone he don't like he's oh he's a heavy heart right so already it's not waiting about waiting the heart it's symbolic that's why but anyway you get any pharaohs so the hef, so the heart is heavier than the feather that's why if you look nicely here the heart either is lighter than the feather no? the heart is lighter than the feather and whose record the you know the details or the uh, result is you so the human body is head of the ape spirit i've spirit, god told god of knowledge and wisdom scientist that's why he's a good person that's why horus god of the protection they start to present him to goddess to, to, to the god osiris god of the afterlife paradise god of death which is represented the paradise over here this uh, like how they believe you will go through the underworld to join the god ra during his journey as he's already is able to you know come you know in, in sunrise and spend the whole day then go through the underworld to look after the people during the journey in the underworld then rise up back again to look at the live people that's why his keep go around to look after everybody that's why you believe 
through the journey, you will join the Gadra during his journey in the underworld on a boat. Why? They believe, as we said, there is a river. That's why this is the reason why they kept boats for the afterlife. But Giza's pyramid, it's huge. Desert, you can, you can put an actual boat. Valley of the Kings is very small. The tombs is not that big to put an actual boat. But do you know what they did? They bought models of boats. Do you know what they believe? The spiritual God will let this stretch to the real size. Because spiritual gods can do anything. Here, like when they start like, you know, preparing the Pharaoh for his afterlife, you know, while you see here the God Anubis and Horus, God of the protection, okay? That uh, will be, that scene will be Ramses, the tomb of Ramses the first, okay? That's why we said, I give you two choices at the end for two beautiful tombs. Ramses first, Merim Betah, but Merim Betah is the one up there. Ramses the third, you know, but it's very steep into the ground, you know, but it's an exercise, but it's amazing. As this scene here is Merim Betah, okay? That's why now you see, like, there is a difference of the art, okay? Between Ramses first and Merim Betah, okay? But anyway, the both tombs are beautiful. But depends on if you really can do an exercise or not, okay? Uh, by the way, uh, this is like the image of, you know, uh, the sun god during the day. Sun god has three images. Early morning, scarab beetle. Everybody can see the scarab inside the circle, okay? So, during the day, sun disk, the round sun disk, okay? Sunset, close to the sunset, turn it into a ram. A ram, the uh, human body is ahead of the ram, will be, okay, early morning, khebri, scarab beetle. During the day, ra, sun god, sun disk. Close to sunset, ram, amun, ra. Okay, Ra, Sun God, Amen, the word means hidden. So the hidden sun, I mean you worship the sun, but after sunset. Okay. Uh, by the way, you see some punishments. See, they cut the head off. Okay, that's punishment. Why? Could you tell me how you could enjoy the paradise without seeing what's going to happen for the bad people? That's why he said, see, this is what... God help you to skip from see that's a punishment so see like this kind of bad things and you will be in a paradise joining the gods that's why yeah, they have to put some scenes for like some of punishment you know see they tightened the hands and they cut the head off okay that's some punishment but let's see you're not gonna see this punishment of King Tut why he's a baby his 19 years old guy died 19 years old that's why i could imagine put like some bad scenes it would be scary that's why they want to help him during his journey in afterlife that's why they choose funny scenes you will see baboons like oh like something fun for the baby feru that's why you know uh, because his uh, already you will see a lot of uh, like maybe doesn't look familiar for you crazy scenes because this is what we call it book of the dead book of the dead as we said it's uh, already talking about the journey through the underworld but come with some magical spells and incantations why it's not just a fun journey you will facing some problems you are facing some fears okay uh, you will facing closed gates and each gate has a guard the god waiting for the passwords and the keywords that's why they used to write down this on the walls like a rem reminder for the Firu when he come back. Oh yeah, that's what gonna happen. That's what I have to say. This is the next step is gonna happen. This, this. that's why we divide it into chapters. And as we said, even final judgment is one of the chapters, but also including another one called the book of the gates. Because we said there's some closed gates. You have to have the best words and the keywords. You have the book of the caves, ancient Egyptian divided, you know, uh, so the day into 24 hours, 
It is 24 hours a day and 24 hours of the night. The Book of the Dead mostly, or the Imad Wat, talking about the 12 dark nights. So the night one, the 12 hours of the dark. That's why, because this is the scare thing, you know. That's why every hour has a gate to pass, you know, to that the gate will open to you the next hour. Also, they divided, you know, the, uh, the day into six caves. But that caves, you're not gonna find just the people, but even gods. They still has to have, there is only two can help them to get out of those caves and those kind of tricks. So, uh, the god Ra and uh, Osiris, because he's the leader of the underworld, okay? Some uh, also fears you will face it uh, as uh, some of, um, like, the crazy, yeah, like something. See, the snake with three heads? That's like, you know, one of, like, the crazy fears you will face it during your journey. Uh, do you know only one can uh, survive you from this? Set. With some people, they said an evil god. Uh, I think there is no an, a concept to say god for the evils. But every even in one family, we have a sneaky one. The one he knows like the sneaky stuff, the bad ways, you know, or like how he can, you know, do like, you know, like or knows even the bad stuff and can deal with it. That's why sometimes in some situation we still need him. Okay, that's why he's the sneaky one of the of you know the that family between Osiris, Isis, Nephthys, and Set. That's why he's the only one can beat. Because why? Those bad things they scare from him because he knows he knows all of the sneaky ways and the bad stuff. That's why they scare from him because he knows he can beat them. Okay, this is like the most important scenes for the master scenes. So the ritual, one of very important ritual, they have done it after death, what we call it the opening of the mouth ceremony. Because if the mummy of the one person dead, the mouth would, and kept the mouth closed, that would, the muscles will get stuck there. Not easy. That's why one of the things, the next pharaoh has to do it to improve on the next pharaoh, he has to do this ritual for the dead, like by use tools to open the mouth and start a praying and even start to tell him, okay, you know, you, are, you were a good person and you did a lot of good things. And, you know, uh, we put that book of the dead and the book of the caves and the book of the, you know, what is ha going to happen in the underworld. So everything come with you. So don't worry, don't scare. So the gods are supporting you. So that's why he start to inform him about that. This is the first ritual for any Pharaoh. After that, they put a mummy and the stuff. Then he's the one sealed the entrance and put the stamp of the last Pharaoh that tells now he is the next Pharaoh. That's why this exists in a tomb of King Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun, he don't have it. So children, who's making that ritual for him? His prime minister, I. Why? He want to improve on the next Pharaoh. Because already he find Tutankhamun, he don't have a children. That's why a lot of people goes he's being assassinated maybe because of I. But anyway, well, as we said, we don't know how he died. But you know, I, so his prime minister, he's the one making the rituals of the opening now ceremony of King Tutankhamun. So right now, uh, so, um, uh, we will be starting uh, Ramses number nine, uh, while he stays in the power for 16 years. Uh, already, you know, his tomb is so beautiful and it's not an exercise. So we start by an easy tomb and so beautiful. Uh, you will use the ticket. As we said, they're gonna like stamp the ticket or make like a little one hole on the ticket. That means this is the first tomb you've been in. This during his time, we find papyrus paper talking about tomb brothers. That's why priests during his time, they worry about the mummies of the pharaohs in the valley, the kings. That's why they came here, collect all of the mummies from the tombs and hide it, you know. We have two caches, one by nearby Deir el-Bahari, the, so the temple of Queen Hatshepsut. Second one, the tomb of Amenhotep II. So 
So I think uh, he knows who is Iman Hatib II. Okay? Yeah. So they use his tomb as well to be a shade to hide some tombs of the mummies of the pharaohs. While we're going to see those beautiful mummies in the National Civilization Museum. And we will tell about the story how they found them there. That's why that's one of the most beautiful tombs. Yep.
Top Gear. She doesn't look like she's gonna run around and try to get in Like the one up there. So, so Ramses first is there. But let's visit the tomb of King Tutankhamen. While you're gonna see his mummy down there. And then I will explain in the bus why already. Thank you. 